My name is Roselle Lim. I am a Chinese Filipino writer. I was born in the Philippines and I learned English from watching Hulk Hogan and Randy Macho Man Savage on WWF and that's how I learned my English. And I immigrated to Scarborough in the 1990s, grew up in Toronto, married a local boy from Norfolk who imported me here to Waterford. So it's been transferring from big cities like Manila, Toronto, Waterford. I write books that center on the Chinese Canadian experience, specifically this, the immigrant experience. I write about generational stories and big families, foods, especially food, because food is just such a big component of Asian culture. Food is a way for us to get together, to mend our differences, to communicate in many ways without having to speak. There's a lot of books that are set in China or set in the Philippines in my case or in their natural setting. I think that it's important for us to have books that are set in Canada or in the United States or anywhere else where we are, you know, our people, our culture have migrated and made their own homes and families and integrated into the culture because that is basically the essence of what books are like to show you different experiences. I'm hoping that when people read them, that they could either see themselves or be able to learn a little bit more about something that may not be a common experience for them. And it's like that curiosity sparks everything. It, it, it would get them to go, oh my gosh, I'm hungry. I think I'm going to go patronize some of the local businesses that are owned by H&Ms. All of that, it just spreads. And then if they love the food, they recommend it to everybody else. And then it's just, it starts off this kind of joyful chain of deliciousness. <laughs> the more readers read from marginalized creators, the more that they can expand their experiences seeing different cultures, different settings, different family structures and all of that. That It expands your well of empathy and inc like basically increases your experience as a traveler of the world without having to travel.